Mm-hmm. So, so Bunny, last week was a damn good episode. Last week was a damn good episode. Freaking loved last week's episode. It was damn good. And one one part of the show that I liked <laughs> that I really liked was when I went off script for a bit, off book, if you will, and told the story of my day trying to wear a woman's headbands with owls on it. Yes. Welpers! I've got another off-book story to share with you. Going off-book again, because I've got another bizarre story. Yeah. And uh, this story centers on a toy sword. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the Saturday before... Halloween, I was going, we were having a monster story time, and it was going to be a Halloween story time, and I had a crap ton of people show up for story time. A ton of people for short story time, just a shit ton of people showed up, and I, I kept telling the kids, like, who do you think I should be for Halloween? I know I'm going to be a taco, because of the taco story, I asked my wife if I could buy a $40 taco costume, and she said yes, but only if you agree to be a taco every Halloween for the rest of your life. <laughs> and, I said, and I said yes, and it, after about two years, it got really sick of being a taco. But then I realized that she didn't tell me what kind of taco. So I've been Captain Taco America. I've been a luchador taco. Uh-huh. I've been a uh, uh, taco Batman. And so I was asking the kids who I should be, and I didn't want to do it, but all the kids, they they agreed amongst themselves, against my wishes, that I should be a Taco Wonder Woman. Okay. Uh-huh. So I basically already had a Wonder Woman outfit. I had a, the golden lasso, and I had a Wonder Woman um, mask. And Okay, uh, that's, that's, that's stuff that you really shouldn't say out loud. Yeah, you know, that's good. The, t- the sentence... I already had the Wonder Woman outfit. You know, people yeah, might no, take no. the wrong way. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Let her color on that. It's fine, Maxwell. What did you want to say, Maxwell? What did you uh, want to ask know, or whatever? I know what you be doing for next Halloween. Oh, what should I be for next Halloween? Uh, okay, don't walk away. Hey, yeah, remember uh, you're talking to me? I know what you should be. What should I be? Tell me. Uh, nice. Taco. taco Flash. Taco. The Flash Taco. Okay, that might be a good idea. I already have a Flash outfit, so. Um, so, I, 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 and I had a shield and, and all of that. The one thing I didn't have were was a sword. I didn't have a good sword. I, I have these tiny little wooden swords, but I wanted, like, a big sword. Yeah. I also needed, I also needed. God, I hate your water bottle. Stop spilling the water. You know you're doing it, too. Stop spilling the water, okay? I don't know why you go out of your way to spill water, but stop doing it, all right, Eleanor? Cheesy crazy. So I so I went to the local supermarket to get some balloons and some candy, some stickers, stuff like that. And I figured, you know what? My The supermarket also has a dollar store in it. Yeah, a dollar store section. I'll go there and see if they sometimes in their crappy toys. Sometimes they have swords. Sometimes they don't. Most of the time they don't. Maybe I'll get lucky. So I went over there and sure enough, they did have a sword, a huge uh, medieval sword is what they called it. Yeah. Okay. No, you can't color on that. I already told you. No, I'm moving everything off of this table because you're just being mean, Eleanor. So stop. All right. God. Flip and stop it. Yes, that's a doggy. What noise do doggies make, Eleanor? What noise do doggies make? You're right. Doggies make this noise. That's the noise a dog makes. No, they make rough, rough. Yeah, don't move her chair while she's standing on the chair. She almost fell, and then she, she would have never... Uh, learned how to play the piano. So they had this huge ass sword, this massive right. sword, this huge massive sword. It, it was almost, it went from like my feet to my like belly button. It was a big, big, huge fake sword. Nice. And it was a 
dollar. So I, I went to the register with my fake sword and my other stuff. And it was very early in the morning before work. And I, I went with all of my stuff and an old white woman, because we're in Oklahoma. So an old white woman was ringing me up uh-huh. and she beat this and she beat this and she beat that. And then she gets the sword and she looks down at it and she looks up at me. And then she looks down again at the sword. And then she looks back up at me and she makes this noise. She goes. And I started thinking, am I am, am I in trouble? <laughs> Am I not allowed to buy the sword? Like, there's no law that says I can't buy a sword. It's a fake sword. It's a dollar. What's the yeah. problem here? So the woman goes, the woman touches my hand, and she goes, Honey, now, I don't want to be offensive. Okay. I'm, I'm looking out for your safety. I just want to ask. Do, do you want me to wrap this or try and hide it or something so no one will see it? And I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm just bringing it to my car. Yeah. But she goes, okay, I just, I, I'm just worried about your safety, hon. And so I buy the dollar sword, take it to my car, and I'm driving to work. Now, I've got a good 45 to 50 minutes of drive. And I so think about that strange event. <laughs> yeah, yeah think about that really strange encounter that I had with the old white lady. And I'm like, why is this woman angry at me? Why is this woman upset? She's not angry at me. She seemed to, to care for my safety, whatever the heck that means. So, so what, what does all of this mean? And then finally, like, like I, I realize it, like I'm staring at the sword, which is like right next to me. And, and I realize, um, Oh shit, I forgot I'm a minority. <laughs> this happens to me sometimes. I forget yeah. that I'm not white. So I don't look at myself in the mirror every five seconds and I'm like, oh, oh wait, I'm not a proud American white American. I I am a proud minority American, and there's a huge difference. And I'm looking at this sword, and it's a huge sword, and it looks insanely realistic, and it's really big, and that's when I realize, oh, uh, Minorities have been killed for less than this. Yes, true. There are people who were killed because they owned Skittles. Uh huh. So literally, I could walk down the street with this and be shot dead. Yeah. And the person who ends up shooting me dead would see zero jail time, even though I was just murdered and I didn't have a weapon. Like, right. like literally. I, I I could have been killed. Mm-hmm. So so that got me thinking: Was the woman being racist? That's my question. That Maybe, but for a good reason. Yeah, and and see, every it, that's the same thing that Natasha said: the woman was being racist to you, but it was a good racism. And I'm like, okay, I didn't think that that existed. I agree with you. Yeah. It's just we should all take some time to re- to to really Examine focus on that. The that we found good racism. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, because she because she she looked at you and she saw what you didn't realize that literally could get you killed. Yeah, and she was concerned. Yeah. yeah, and in retrospect, it was damn nice of her to be concerned. Yeah. You know, but it's also kind of racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She couldn't. She good. couldn't have come to that conclusion without m- making a value judgment according to your race. Yeah. So it's a bit, it's but a bit weird. But should she not have then? Because clearly know. you didn't realize it took you forty-five minutes for it to dawn on you. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to have to put it in in the, in the good racist category. And I think that we should, we should congratulate ourselves as a podcast for having found good racism. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We Mm -hmm. found good racism. Mm -hmm. We found good racism. Hooray. Mm -hmm. 
you know, if we were ever going to find good racism, it definitely would have been found here in Shawnee, Oklahoma, in yes. beautiful, gorgeous, <laughs> racist Shawnee, Oklahoma. We found good racism. Hooray! 